Hello, my dear students. Once again, Manuel Kanza here, your teacher, and welcome to another Afro Kanza dance tutorial for beginners. You have probably seen this video already here on the channel, but I'm making it again because I feel like this video needs some sort of attention in terms of the way that you move your hips. Many people say jinga, jinga, yen Angola, but most people don't understand. I mean, the people outside of Angola don't understand what jinga is. Jinga is like the movement of the hips, and you know it's after the name of our queen jinga, but it's something that we usually say here in Angola, show me your jinga, which is movement of the hips. So in other places you would say, um, the, the, the call uh, revelation or wine, but here we call it jinga which is the movement of the hips. Uh, now, why is this important? Because when you're gonna dance African dance, this is one of the most important basic movements of doing African dance. And you've probably seen me also here in this video doing the Kwasa Kwasa move coming forward and, and then going back. That is called Kabele Bele. So you do the forward with the Kwasa Kwasa, then you reverse the same movement. That is called Kabele Bele. So these two moves are some of the important moves of any African dance if you're getting started. Now, what I did with the arm is just like an extra. If you don't want to do anything with your arms, that's cool. Uh, also, I just wanted to say that this move actually used to be done by women, at least here in Angola, and you will find it in most Af African tribal dance. Uh, in this case, the dance you are watching me do right now is not, an, uh, is not really 100% tribal because it already has a lot of variations on it. So when I do Afro Kanze, people ask me like, what is, what is the concept behind Afro Kanze? Afro Kanze is the way that you teach Kudura and Afro House to people. It's very hard to, to get people to learn Kudura and Afro House fast because uh, it's a dance that exists for, for many years now, since late 80s. And from 80s to now, so much has evolved. So many moves have already uh, come into play and if you're gonna teach Kudu and Afro House, you really gotta be very selective about what moves you're gonna use and how you want your students to actually learn those steps. Like if you if you know the names, if you know the dictionary of the steps, you, at, at least you will have an idea of what you should teach your students. Because people really, it's not about being frustrated, it's frustrated about it, it's just that people have a hard time learning the steps if the teacher can have enough information to give your students like if someone can do this movement um kwasa kwasa and the jinga how what other ways can you use to help them get the move without them you know feeling dismotivated in class because you know we all now we all doing the african dance nowadays <laughs> everyone is loving the movement and so many music videos coming out like chris brown just dropped the music sensational you know and this 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 is this happened a long time ago. You know, many artists started to explore a lot of uh, African dance in their music. Just that people are starting to give more attention now, but it's not a new thing. It's not a new thing. It's just that now people just paying more attention. So how can we help other people starting to get to do this dance and actually help other people learn how to teach other people? So this is what I do in Afro Kansas. The way of doing all this, it's called Afro Kansas. So most of the steps that I use, of course, some of the steps that I use on Afro Kansas are moves that I create because the, what I learned from Kuduru, Rebita, Kabetula, Kintwemi, all the moves here in Angola and Chianda, I kind of mix all of those tribal moves with the urban style, which is the Kuduru and Afro House. These are the urban st street style here in Angola, so that's what I call Afro Kanza. Thank you for being part of the channel. Keep uh, following the channel. Thank you so much for being here and uh, for being a member of the channel as well.